Hi, this is John O'Hara. Welcome to this week's Auspicious Agile video blog. We're going to start a series on Agile scaling methods and comparing them. This week we're going to start with a comparison of less vis-a-vis -vis safe, uh, some of the more popular frameworks out there today. I'm going to give credit where credit is due, uh, both to one of my colleagues who gave me some good foundational information, Jim Tremlett, and also to uh, agilescaling.org that also has some great materials on this subject. So with that, let's start in. Let's take a look first at SAFE. And of course, SAFE is in version 3.0. There's a sneak preview of the 4.0 framework of SAFE, which is coming up shortly. Uh, and SAFE is a scaled agile framework by Dean Leffingwell. And then there is LESS. LESS comes in two flavors, which is standard LESS. And then there's what we call LESS huge. And LESS is by Bass Fode and Craig Larman. So the LESS framework is one that lays out multiple approaches for scaling for smaller and larger sets of teams. Let's look at the basics first. For SAFE, we look at core Agile principles of code quality. You look at lean principles. It uses Scrum and Kanban on a team level. Uh, and applies to lean leadership principles. Less uses Scrum in the large, effectively. It sets rules and principles, and it helps teams to work within a Scrum and staying basically uh, loyal to the spirit of Scrum. Now, let's take a look at code quality, which is what SAFE calls it, which is basically XP practices. LESS also uses technical excellence, it's called, and these are basically a set of uh, code quality practices. Both of these frameworks do lay this out uh, and talk about using those practices. We'll look a little more at that in detail. And then at the size, so SAFE has what we call ARTS, Agile Release Trains of 50 to 125 people, and you can have multiple ARTS, or Agile Release Trains, less regular framework, up to eight teams, and less huge, more than eight teams. And they say actually on the less.works uh, website that it actually goes up to thousands of people. I do not have experience seeing that in practice, uh, but that is what is stated on the less website at this point. So that's scale, so you have the ability to bring both of these up to a very large scale. Now, let's take a look at what happens from a perspective of the different types of uh, coverage at different levels in SAFE and in LESS. Let's begin with the portfolio level, which is budgeting and funding and looking at metrics and uh, measuring our results for a program. And in SAFE, uh, there is pretty solid coverage of this, at least in the respect of giving, uh, giving some guidance. Now, it's not all the way to giving you all the details. You need to leave some of that to your organization. We put this in a medium, uh, and that's what the folks at agilescaling.org do. And for uh, less, they really don't tackle the portfolio level. So we really give this a low. They're just not looking very much or giving guidance on your portfolio. From a program level, which is where you have multiple teams, five teams, ten teams, maybe more, uh, SAFE really is a strong player here. Uh, they have a very, this is really the sweet spot for SAFE, really shows you how to do programs well. Uh, so in that case, we really give SAFE a high uh, in terms of coverage at the program level. For LESS, uh, LESS really doesn't go as much into covering how programs are run or what the roles are at the program level or others outside of kind of the Scrum uh, framework aspects of it. So we give it a low, at least that's what the folks at agilescaling.org give uh, SAFE uh, at the program level. Now at the team level, uh, again, we have lots of detail and basically you can use Scrum or Kanban with SAFE and that's got a high level of coverage as well within SAFE and lots of background information. With less, uh, we give it a medium because it does give us information about Scrum and if you have an understanding of how to use Scrum, you got a pretty good idea of how to use less uh, for the team level. Now there's also code practices, XP engineering, Agile engineering practices, and the coverage on using those is a pretty good set of uh, guidance on that in SAFE, so we give that a medium. And LESS also does give pretty good coverage of how do you use Agile engineering practices or technical excellence uh, as it's called in LESS, so we give that a medium as well. And then we have inter-team coordination, as the folks at uh, agilescaling.org put it, which is the idea of how do these different teams interact and coordinate. SAFE does a great job, tells us about release planning and how we tie all these things together and have business owners and other roles uh, and how they're all playing together. And actually, Les does a good job of telling us how teams coordinate among each other as well. Uh, so we give both of these frameworks high in that respect. Now, let's take a look at uh, another aspect, which is a note. As I look at Les, 
something that we see is that there is a potential for what I call product owner overload. Product owners are coordinating with teams, many teams, stakeholders, upper management, scrum masters, and there's a lot of work. Now, what SAFE generally does has product management and business owners and other roles, release train engineer. Uh, the product owner really has a lot of work to do, and it seems like it's potential to lead to some overload. Okay, let's go on now, and let's take a look at some additional points. So prescriptiveness uh, in less and in safe. So less is not very prescriptive. It's really a pretty elegant uh, just extension of Scrum and you're extending Scrum principles, but that's a double-edged sword because on the one side, very elegant extension of Scrum. On the other side, you don't get a lot of guidance uh, if you really need to go beyond in a broader enterprise organizational context. Safe, lots of prescriptiveness, lots of detail, lots of information about exactly how you do release planning and all the ceremonies and everything else. So very prescriptive, but lots of information, great for new teams. Now, let's take a look next at continuing into uh, where we stand as far as our case studies. Case studies, uh, now SAFE does have a lot of case studies. They have Telstra and John Deere and others. and They've had those for quite some time, several years of case studies uh, that have been out there and available uh, for organizations to look at and to reference. Less has just started to put out case studies. I remember looking previously, uh, trying to understand if there were case studies. I hadn't seen a lot, but uh, that was several months ago. Now it seems like they have started to introduce case studies uh, such as Ericsson and uh, J.P. Morgan. Now on the certification side, really important to have a good uh, universe of certified practitioners for the framework. SAFE is pretty strong in this area. They're really established. They've got a lot of people who are practitioners with SAFE and their SPCs, SAFE Program Consultants, SAFE Agilists, SAFE Practitioners, uh, and SAFE PMPO, Product Manager, Product Owner. Uh, LESS has just also started to certify. I do remember looking at the LESS websites earlier and materials and didn't see a lot about certification, uh, but that is something they started to add for practitioners and organizations now. Now let's look at tools, right? So tools uh, are really core and central. They're really aligned with the SAFE uh, framework and SAFE's implementation. They align with tools like Rally and others. And what you're going to see is that SAFE really uh, does basically align and make sure there's support for those tools. On the other hand, LESS really has a minimalist approach according to tools, which it even describes on the website that, you know, there are organizations that use it, just use spreadsheets to capture a lot of things and only using the tools really if you have to. Uh, so LESS kind of takes the opposite view, which is not a lot of tooling. Now, I've worked with companies like Disney, worked with companies and uh, like Huawei, and looked at big implementations that have been doing enterprise-scaled Agile, uh, and we see that it is really important in many cases to have that tooling in place to support your work. So there's some thoughts on less and safe. Hope it's good food for thoughts. Stay Agile, and we'll talk to you next time.